好，第九、第十條呢，就睇返個 set up 啦。我哋呢，就係做煤嘅實驗嘅。咁有個學生呢，想去調查一下呢温度對於個過氧化氫煤嘅反應啊，究竟有啲咩影響呢？咁我就預備咗啲豬潤啦。啊，咁豬潤入面呢，就有過氧化氫酶啦，就能夠加速到拆解嗰個雙氧水就變成呢個氧氣同埋水嘅 equation 呢，俾咗大家㗎啦。佢有一定份量嘅雙氧水啦，咁呢個擺到明呢，就係我哋嘅 CV 啦，係咪？然後開個領制啦，就加啲雙氧水呢，落去個豬潤嗰樹，而由於豬潤入面有過氧化氫酶啊嘛，佢就會將個雙氧水拆解成為氧氣同埋水，咁氧氣呢，就會出咗嚟，沿住呢條管呢，就入咗去個針筒個樹。咁我就預備咗一支咧十 mL 嘅針筒咧，就去收集啲氧氣嘅。咁點解個學生要收集氧氣呢？因為啦，我哋俾同等份量嘅雙氧水加落去個豬潤嘅時候，喺唔同温度底下。究竟佢哋能夠產生幾多氧氣呢？就俾我哋估計返個過氧化氫酶喺唔同温度底下，究竟佢個反應速度如何啦？咁又關於酶嘅實驗呢，其實上一年呢，第三、第四條呢，就係問緊差不多嘅嘢啦。咁今次嘅題目就話喎，喺室温嘅嗰一個測試底下呢，個學生就發現呢：「喂，啲針筒呢，裝唔晒啲氧氣喎，陰公。咁所以題目就考我哋啦。當佢再去做下一個實驗，即係去測試下唔同温度嘅情況底下呢佢要點樣去改良下個 set up， 確保呢佢可以收集到一啲有效嘅數據嘅。所以題目再去考下我哋有關於實驗設計嘅技巧啦。咁今次我哋所去面對嘅問題就係話啦，十 mL 嘅針筒唔夠大啊！收集唔得晒所有嘅氧氣，例如喺頭先室温嘅情況底下呢有十五 mL 嘅氧氣呢就俾人產生咗。喂，唔得喎！咁你話嚇，都叫產生咗啊？係咪？問題就係話啦，本身個黑度呢就係得十個 mL 嘅啫嘛。咁你而家啦，將個針筒吞吞吞吞吞吞到去後尾，超越咗十 mL 嘅時候啦，咁究竟係幾多 mL 呢？我真係唔知道㗎喎。所以我哋先要諗下點樣去改良個實驗，收集到有效數據咁解啫嘛。咁而家啦，就下面一二三呢，究竟邊個可以幫我哋呢？第一個用大啲嘅針筒，梗係可以啦。用支大支啲嘅針筒，例如二十 mL 嘅，咁咪收集到頭先十五 mL 嘅氧氣啦，係咪？第一個係啱嘅。第二個咧，用個大啲嘅 conical flask， 即係呢一個玻璃兜呢。喂，用大啲啦，唔得。其實用大啲嘅啱呢，係唔會幫到我哋去收集多啲嘅氧氣㗎嘛。咁所以第二呢，係錯嘅。第三啦，咁不如咁啦，用少啲雙氧水啦。你諗下，最當初呢，喂，原來加 fix e d volume 我當㗎咋嚇，當初呢，入咗二十 mL 嘅雙氧水落去，不如而家咁啊，用少一半啦。咁用少一半嘅話啦 ，substrate 少咗，咁 product 係咪都應該會少咗啊？咁支針筒就唔怕唔夠大，收集唔晒啲氧氣啦。所以呢，第三呢，都係正確嘅。咁所以答案呢，就係 boy 啦。今日呢條題目啦，有啲咩嘅變奏啊？咁梗係第一個，梗係問下你啦。三個 V 會係啲乜嘢啊 ？I V D V C V。第二啦，呢、這個實驗有啲咩嘅 precaution 我哋要留意嘅呢？例如啦，所有裝置嘅接駁位，喂，係咪冇漏氣先？嗱，漏氣冇有講㗎咯，啲氧氣出咗嚟，咁你啲針筒收集唔到㗎咯。三啦，就真係考究下究竟温度。對於個過氧化氫酶有啲咩嘅反應啦？又或者好似第四款變奏啦，就好似上年嗰條咁樣，試下唔同組織入面嘅過氧化氫酶嘅反應咯。今次用豬潤啫，下次用牛肉、用蘋果、用薯仔，咁又得唔得啊 ？Question number ten refer to the diagram below. We show an experiment set up prepared by student to investigate the effect of temperature on catalase. Activities. Pig liver extract contain the catalase, which speed up the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water. So that's why the equation is given. And a fixed volume of hydrogen peroxide solution was added to the liver extract. So the hydrogen peroxide solution it will be added to the pig liver extract, and then there will be oxygen produced, and the oxygen gas will go through this tube, and then will be collected by the syringe. And there was a 10 mL syringe. To collect the oxygen gas released from the reaction mixture. So let's talk about some variables for the hydrogen peroxide solution because we add fixed volume of the solution, so that's why it is a CV. And why do we need to collect the oxygen? Because we are measuring the volume of oxygen produced from the reaction mixture, and then it can help us to estimate the rate of reaction. That's our DV. So that's the concept here, and of course, the temperature will be the IV. So this MSI experiment is like the 2018 question about the MSI substrate and some control setup. 
So let's take a look at the question. So in the trial conducted at room temperature, the student found that the volume of oxygen released was greater than the maximum collection volume of the syringe. So how should he modify the setup in order to collect the valid data when repeating the experiment at different temperatures? So this question is checking the skills of modifying the experimental setup. And the problem we are facing is that the 10 ml syringe is not big enough to collect all the oxygen produced. For example, there are 15 ml oxygen gas produced. So that's why our ultimate goal is, is to make sure that we can collect all the oxygen produced from the reaction mixture. You may ask that why the 10 ml syringe cannot collect all the oxygen may be a problem. The concept is that because we are measuring the volume of oxygen produced to estimate the rate of reaction. And what if the syringe cannot measure the exact volume of oxygen production? So that's why we cannot get the valid data. So that's why we need to make sure that we can collect all the oxygen produced. First of all, use a large syringe. Of course, it is a good idea using a larger syringe, for example, 20 ml. So it makes sure that we can collect all the oxygen gas released. So that's why statement one is correct. And for the second one, using a larger chronicle fast, that means this fast. So actually this fast will not affect the amount of oxygen gas production. So the enzymatic reaction will continue and 15 ml oxygen gas will be produced and the 10 ml syringe is still not big enough to collect all the oxygen gas. So the second one is wrong. For the third one, reduce the volume of hydrogen peroxide solution added. That's a good choice because we can reduce the amount of substrate and then reduce the oxygen production. According to this equation, with lower concentration of hydrogen peroxide, there will be less oxygen produced. So that's why number three is also correct. So that's why one and three, they are the correct answer. So any possible question variation, first of all, you need to identify all the variables in the experiment, IV, DV, CV, I have already mentioned them. And second variation will be the precaution in the experimental design. You need to make sure the connection of the tubes or the syringe seal or airtight. So that's why all the connection here, you need to make sure that the air will not leak out. Otherwise, the oxygen produced will leak out and then they will not be collected by the 10 ml syringe. And for the third variation, it will really ask you the effect of temperature on the catalase activity. And for the last one, it's just like the 201A question. Study the catalase activity in different tissues, potato tissues, apple cell or beef.